Hey guys, so I picked up this uh, sweet concession style go-kart a while ago and I threw on a Predator engine and well of course after not maintaining it and letting the gasoline sit in it over the winter it's not starting. So let's pull the case off and uh, dig into it a little more. Whenever I have an engine that doesn't start I always test to see if it's the carburetor. It's a really simple test. All you do is take a, some starting fluid, shoot a couple shots into the air intake, and give it a pull. If the engine starts up, then you know the carburetor's clogged. And that's because you know that it's getting spark and starting, just not getting fuel into the cylinder. Now that I know it's the carburetor, I'm going to remove the carburetor by taking off these 10 millimeter nuts and removing the air intake box. You can easily slide it off and just put it up on top by the gas tank, uh, just somewhere out of the way, and that gives you access to the carburetor. These two bolts allow you to drain the gas and the, and the bowl of the carburetor. Uh, I actually didn't show me doing it, but I had already drained a majority of it. But this is just some residual gas. And as you can tell, it did not look good. I, there was something wrong with that gas that I had used. And so that was one of the key indications that probably the main jet was clogged. So you can go continue taking off the bowl, taking everything else off. If you want to take the carburetor all the way off, you're going to need to remove the gas line right there and then the couple linkages and throttle cable. It's pretty simple. Just get, grab some needle nose pliers and uh, pull that out, out of the way. Just make sure that you don't bend those cables at all. Surprisingly, this carburetor wasn't too dirty, but that doesn't really matter if you got something clogged in the jet. It's not going to run right. So to do that, simply take a screwdriver and unscrew that little jet, and that is what they call the main jet. Now you can't really see it in that picture, but there I couldn't see sunlight through it, daylight through it, and so I knew something was in there. Really easy, grab some carb cleaner, some air, shoot it, uh, shoot it through the jet and clean it out. If it's really dirty in there, you might want to let that uh, part soak in some carburetor cleaner. And now, yet again, you can't see, but if you hold it up to the light, you should be able to see air uh, daylight through it. So putting it back together, you screw it back in. Just make sure that the gasket is back on properly. Um, because if not, then as soon as you fill it up with gas, uh, you're going to have a whole bunch of uh, gasoline coming up out around that bowl and if that happens all you gotta do is take the bowl off again make sure the gas gets seated correctly and screw it back on if your engine set up in a way that you can actually get in there and unscrew that jet without removing the entire carburetor then well by all means keep keep the carburetor on there and just remove the jet and clean it out but Typically, you know, it's usually a hard place to get and so since there's only a couple extra steps you need to do to remove the whole carburetor, I usually take it all the way off. Make sure that the gaskets are in place as you're putting it back together. Before you slide the carburetor all the way on, throw the linkages and the gas line back on. Put it back together how you took it off and you'll be ready to go.